Hey, what's up everybody? Today I am making a breakfast martinis. Move over, Bloody Mary. There's a new biatch in town. Okay, so my first one is not my original idea, but it does come from a restaurant that I frequent here in Phoenix, and they make a Fruity Pebbles Martini, which is absolutely delicious. Now, they do it a little bit different than I'm going to do it, because I couldn't get loopy vodka, and that's what they use, right? But what I am going to do is use raspberry vodka instead, and I'll get back to that. So I have my little martini glass here, right? And I just rimmed the rim, like you do. <coughs> And now I'm going to roll it in my little Fruity Pebbles, and I'm going to just hope and hope that they stick. They're doing a pretty good job. I have good news. They're sticking. I wasn't sure if they were going to. I've made this drink a bunch of times, but I've never actually rimmed my glass. I didn't get that fancy. That's for you guys. Yup. What do you think? Pretty. It's pretty. I like it. Just in case it doesn't stick, just look for the blank spot and stick a lime on it. Little cover up. Nobody will know. Ooh, it's pretty already. Don't you want to drink already? I know I do. So just real quick, the way that I made that lime simple syrup, it's just a cup of sugar, cup of water, and I have my lime zest floating around in here. I just literally took my knife and like shaved some zest off. I heated it up, got it hot, dropped in my lime zest, and I just let it sit on the stove until now oh, when I'm ready to use it. Lime simple syrup is getting moved out of the way. I have my shaker, right? Which is stuck. There it goes. There it goes. We're cool. We're cool. So this is going to go three shots of rum chata. My hands are kind of slippery because I was just holding that and it got, it had condensation on it. Now I have wet hands. Makes it a little difficult to hold the bottle. We're cool. I got it. Okay. Three shots, right? rum chata. Some rum chata in there. Like I said, I would be using rum chata. I didn't say that. I would be using rum chata in the other version too, but with the loopy vodka. So this is a uh, veil raspberry and it should probably be just one shot, but I'm just pouring in the whole little bottle. It's fine. And then last but not least, the blue curacao. And real quick on the pronunciation of this because some people say Caraco, but I want to let y'all know it is, it's actually Curusal, and I know because a few years back before I met Xavier, I went on a girls trip there for a week, and we met these really cute island guys who took us around the whole place and teased us relentlessly about the fact that we pronounced it wrong, and we didn't even say Caraco, we said like Curusal, and they were like, what? No, no, it's Curusal, like they said it all pretty, Curusal, okay, so anyway, it's not Caraco. It's not Caraco. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know. It's okay. If I hadn't been there, I probably wouldn't know for sure either. But I've been there. It is Curusal. That's how they say it. Curas. Sorry. Curasal. That's how they say it. Shot of that going in. By the way, it's orange flavored, right? And it comes from an orange that grows there on the island. So if you're getting what's exported from the island, then you're probably getting like obviously the true Curacao, but if you're buying something not from the island, it may just be orange flavored and not the actual orange that it comes from. Just a little tidbit for you. So, a little shaken. Shake until your hand is freezing. Like, until it's really, really cold and you're like, crap, my hand's so cold! And that's when you're ready to pour, right? Keeps getting stuck. It's a very efficient shaker there because it's not letting anything out. Ooh, do you see how pretty that is? That is gorgeous. What? And it's filling it up. There might even be a little, little taster shoddy poo. I'm a shot glass in my thing. We'll taste it from here. A little tasty poo. It's gonna have a little extra, little extra blue, old blue. Here's to you, man. I don't know why. Oh, Blue. You're my boy, Blue. That's pretty good. If you dropped a shot of vodka in your Fruity Pebbles, it would pretty much taste like this. It's delicious. 
No, seriously, this makes me excited to, like, wake up for Saturday morning cartoons, except not, but, like, it has that Saturday morning, I can't wait to get out of bed feel to it. It's delicious. Don't look at me like that. People drink Bloody Marys in the morning. <laughs> Saturday. What's the difference? This is drink number one. Moving on. So next I'm making my cinnamon toast crunch martini, which I started off here right with my martini glass. And so don't judge me, okay? But my dishwasher is about to start running, so you hear it. We're going to have to pause for a second. So as I was saying, don't judge me, but what I did, okay, so Cinnamon Toast Crunch has like a buttery kind of flavor to me, and originally I was going to put some butterscotch in here, but we didn't have any butterscotch. So what I decided to do is melt some butter, and I actually rimmed all around the outside of this with melted butter, and then I dipped it and like did this to get the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and it was kind of a pain in the butt to get to stick, I'm not going to lie. But I ended up putting it like on a cup and sticking it in the fridge and I also poured a little bit of butter on the inside. Butter on the inside. On the inside. On the inside. It's already delicious. It has butter and cinnamon toast. Like what do you want? Okay so on to the martini part though, right? So half shot of Bailey's, three shots of rum chata. <laughs> Gee this barely has any alcohol in it at all. I know. Let's add some vodka. This is one of those little one and a half, 1.6 ounce, whatever they are, of vanilla vodka. 50 mil. It's the little baby ones. You know. You know. You can get them. I got them just for making this. And then little half a shot. You can kind of like get this to your own taste, but of fireball. So a little cover on this. Do you hear my dog? I don't know what he's barking at. I think he's barking at this water dish. He was attacking it earlier. He's silly. Right. Shake it, shake it. And of course, same thing. Shake it till your hand gets cold. Should I check on the dog? Have you guys came and visited on a Monday for Maximus Mondays yet? Maximus Monday is extreme. Come watch me train my dog, dog, dog. It's pretty fun. He's awesome. He's a German Shepherd. So, Martina glass. Pour it in. I'm always afraid the lid's gonna pop off, but it didn't. Oh, it's so pretty. Cinnamon stick. Of course. What? It's not real Russian vodka. It didn't pop off. <laughs> I don't know what he means. Okay, so I wouldn't stick this in film, honestly, but I'm going to just to be pretty. It's going to slide in there. Bye! Bye, stupid. It's cool. So Cinnamon Toast Crunch one. Give a little tasty poo. <laughs> what are you laughing at me for? I'm going to taste it out of this so I don't ruin my rim because I told you that one's kind of a pain in the butt. If you're going to make these for a lot of people, I would definitely recommend making these like the day before because you don't want to be all stressed out the day of your party or whatever. Batch them. It's a lot easier. Do your little glass rooms ahead of time too. Okay, ready? I wasn't intending to do that on a shot. Is that what you thought? just wanted to taste it. Man, that's good. That's yummy. That's yummy. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Actually, you want to taste some? Yeah, I do. Mmm. Dude, that's freaking delicious. I don't know which one my favorite's going to be. I actually thought the the fruity one was... was. Did I do like a belly button shot? Oh, I was saying that this might be my favorite. I really thought that the fruity one was going to be my favorite for sure, but this is, this is dang tasty. All right, and we have one to go. You ready? <clears throat> Next up, we have a Cocoa Pebbles Martini, so a little bit of chocolate, right? I didn't rim this one yet. I'm going to show y'all, right? So I'm going to try to do my best to go around. That's why you got to plate down. It's very messy. Try to keep it a little bit even. I don't have the coordination right now to keep that that even because 
been tasting everything along the way. It's all right. It's good. That's what we came for. A little bit of, a little bit of goodness. A little martini goodness. A little breakfast martini. Never hurt anybody. Untrue. <laughs> Drink your breakfast. Make you feel right as rain. So anyway, it'd probably be a good idea to like let that dry for a minute, but we're not gonna do that. Notice the martini glass that I picked has the little circles, right? It's so cute because Cocoa Puffs are circles also. All right, little, little pretty, ah. We don't want chocolate everywhere. This is some very thin chocolate. It's pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. You love it? I love it. Okay, so let's mix the martini, right? So, ice, rum chata. Do you notice the theme here? Me too. They're not sponsoring this, though. But if y'all want to, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Do a rum chata commercial right now. Love rum chata. I love it. It's so good. It tastes like rum chata. So, shot of Bailey's, my little bottle of vanilla vodka, 50 mils, going in, right? Got that all over my finger, but that's okay. Lid on, lid on, shake it. That looks so professional. I'm just kidding. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Make sure your hand feels like it's freezing. A little shake it behind your back, a little shake it. A little on your leg. Little, little. <laughs> my jeans were too tight to do that. All right, my hand is officially frozen. That means it's ready. All right, fill up our glass. You know what? I don't know why this makes me nervous. It's never ever actually happened to me in my life, but I still want to put my finger there. <laughs> Dude, that's gorgeous frothy. So pretty. I think it needs um, whipped cream. I'm hoping this whipped cream isn't going to just sink down to the bottom, right? Maybe I should just go around the rim. Let's do a test. Oh, it's not going to sink. Okay, ready? Looks good to me. What's up? Sprinkles? Why aren't you coming out? <laughs> There's a safety seal. They're new. I just got these. I haven't actually tried them yet, but they're the... Oh, <laughs> I made a mess. They're the Wilton, like, all-natural jimmies, they're called, right? So that's going to sink really quick, so we need to get a picture, but let's get a taste first. Priorities, you know. Priorities. Coco Coco Puffs, chocolate tasting Coco Puffs. You know that commercial? Yummy, crunchy, chocolatey! <laughs> and then the bird thing goes crazy. All right. It's delicious. If I make this again, though, I told you we were just kind of making this up as we go along, right? I'm going to stir some chocolate syrup into it or shake some chocolate syrup into it. Definitely give a little shot of it in there too. Get a little more chocolatey ness -is to it. That's Coco it. For Coco Puffs. Ah, Coco for Coco Puffs. But it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Definitely shake some of that uh, chocolate syrup into it also though, okay? Make sure you do that. All right, I'm ready to let's take some pictures and take some drinks. Cheers. Hey, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so now. I am putting up new videos every single week, so make sure you ring your notification bell so you don't miss any of the goodness. Also, check out my Patreon account. The link is down below along with a link to my website and some cool merch that you can get as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy cooking, everyone. Backbiteforever.com
Good morning, my love. Good morning, my love. What would you say? Fun martini night? You know it was. It's about to be a fun martini morning, too. Yeah. <laughs>